A mastectomy is defined as a surgical removal of your breast tissue. Your surgeon will talk to you about the available surgical techniques. A total mastectomy, also known as a simple mastectomy, entails removal of the breast tissue as well as the nipple and areola. An incision will be made across the middle of your breast. This will leave a flat appearance of the chest wall, as shown in this photo. After surgery, you may notice some skin and subcutaneous tissue left under your arm. This used to be connected to your breast and is a normal part of you. This may be more pronounced in overweight or obese women. Once your surgery is finished, your incision will be closed with dissolvable stitches under your skin. You may also have thin pieces of surgical tape or surgical glue over your incision. Once healed, many patients opt to wear a breast prosthesis. At your post-op appointment, you may talk to your surgeon about breast prosthetic options. Other approaches include skin sparing mastectomy, which involves removal of the breast tissue, nipple, and areola, but not the breast skin. And lastly, nipple sparing mastectomy, which is the removal of only the breast tissue sparing the skin, nipple, and areola. Both of these options are followed by breast reconstruction. You may talk with your breast and plastic surgeons to determine if you are a candidate. Please talk with your plastic surgeon for details on surgical incision, as the photos in this slide do not depict the exact incision that you may have with either of these approaches. The mastectomy procedure alone, without reconstruction, can take between one to three hours. The duration of the procedure depends on several factors, including whether you are having unilateral or bilateral mastectomies, as well as if you are having axillary surgery. If you are undergoing breast reconstruction, the procedure will be longer. This will be discussed further with your plastic surgeon. Infection, bleeding, permanent scar, swelling or seroma, and need for additional surgery skin ischemia or death of the skin edges, chest wall numbness, nerve injury, numbness under the arm and the back of the upper arm, shoulder blade weakness, winged scapula, or when the shoulder blade sticks out, may occur. However, these risks are very small. You will have one or more post-operative drains placed during surgery. Surgical drains play an important role in healing. They remove fluid that builds up during the post-op period, which can cause discomfort and delay healing if it is not drained. Prior to surgery, our team will ensure that you have received a surgical bra as well as a surgical camisole where the drain bulbs can easily rest. You should bring these garments with you to the hospital. Your team in the hospital will review how to measure and monitor these drains, and a visiting nurse will be arranged to come to your home to help with this postoperatively. You will be monitoring how much fluid is draining each day and reporting these numbers back to your breast surgeon or plastic surgeon who will let you know when you are ready for an in-office removal. Please refer to our drain care video for more information on caring for your drains. After your surgery, you will be taken to the post-anesthesia care unit, commonly referred to as the PACU. A PACU nurse will take care of you there while we monitor your blood pressure, pain level, etc. You will probably stay there for one to two hours to allow anesthesia to wear off a bit, and you will then be brought to the inpatient floor where you will most likely spend one night. If your surgeon has discussed going home the same day as your surgery, your healthcare team will ensure you have appropriate patient education and you may also refer to our same day mastectomy video. A physical therapist will see you while you are in the hospital to review post-op exercises. The day after your surgery, you may eat a regular diet and resume regular activities such as self-care, including washing your face, brushing your teeth, light housekeeping, and meal preparation. For women undergoing mastectomy without reconstruction, it is okay to shower 24 hours after surgery. If you are having reconstruction, ask your plastic surgeon about when it is okay to shower. 
Do not soak in a bathtub or swimming pool until you have seen your surgeon at your post-op appointment and discuss this activity. Please bring your surgical bra and surgical camisole with you on the day of surgery. If you have breast reconstruction, your plastic surgeon will discuss when to wear your surgical bra. Women who have mastectomy without reconstruction may be interested in wearing a breast prosthesis. Some women also opt to wear a mastectomy bra fitted and designed with pockets to hold the weighted breast form. Surgery makes you tired. While you can do nearly all of your normal activities, please allow yourself frequent rest periods and listen to your body if you feel a need to rest. In general, for women undergoing mastectomy alone without reconstruction, we anticipate a recovery period of two to four weeks. It is important to gradually begin doing post-op exercises to ensure you are keeping your shoulder loose. Please refrain from repetitive arm movements on the surgical side or heavy lifting greater than 10 pounds for about four weeks. Please refer to our post-operative activity guidelines and exercises packet and or video for our recommendations. Most of our patients do very well with limited pain after surgery and are well managed with over-the-counter medications like Tylenol and Ibuprofen. You will be discharged with a prescription for a pain medication such as an opioid pain reliever for breakthrough pain. Check with your doctor if it is okay to take anti-inflammatory medicines like ibuprofen, also known as Advil or Motrin, or naproxen, also known as Aleve. The mastectomy incision will usually be numb. Do not use ice or heat packs on this area because it's hard to tell what is too hot or too cold and you could damage your skin. It is important to note that on the day of your surgery, your anesthesiologist will talk to you about the option of receiving a paravertebral block. This is offered to patients in an effort to reduce immediate postoperative pain, such as within 12 to 24 hours of surgery, and thus reduce the amount of pain medication needed during and after surgery. You will learn more about this on the day of your procedure. It is done prior to receiving anesthesia and is done by a specially trained anesthesia team member. Things to call about. A temperature above 101 degrees Fahrenheit, increased redness, heat, or swelling around the incision, or drainage around the incision, drain malfunctioning, such as not holding suction, poor output, or bright red drainage. A cancer diagnosis is a stressful event in anyone's life. We recognize that you and your family may have concerns as you learn about your new diagnosis and prepare for surgery. As a team, we strive to provide the best cancer care possible. Our clinical social worker is available to address your social and emotional health and accessible both in person and by phone to provide supportive counseling, walk you through decision making, and help you navigate your care and next steps please refer to the Oncology Social Worker Sheet in your Teach Packet for more information. We also encourage you to look at the Dana-Farber Resource Guide Sheet in your Teach Packet, where you will find additional services or programs that may be helpful to you. We hope that you have found this video helpful and informative as you prepare for your upcoming surgery. As always, if you have any additional questions, please reach out to your surgeon's office.